from 2016. Donald Trump is being criticized for a conversation he had had with another guy over a decade ago. In the conversation, he talks of hitting on a married woman and failing. The public Trump is rarely so humble. Many object to his language. I just kiss them. If you grab her vagina, she will let you do anything. Stars get away with it. And the truth of that is probably known by Warren Beatty and many, many more before and since. And so a GOP leader has decided he cannot now support Trump because he has a 15-year-old daughter and he couldn't look his 15-year-old daughter in the eye if he supported Trump. But how could that father look his daughter in the eye if he allowed Hillary to win? Putting aside Clinton's creating ISIS to balance Obama's foreign policy vacuum with a new Cold War, and putting aside Hillary's losing some $8 trillion in U.S. taxpayers' money as Secretary of State, Hillary is the person who hurt and harmed victims of her husband, sexually exploited. So it is Trump's gutter talk in private or Hillary's act of predations on victims that one endures. And isn't it the case that no man alive is without sin? Were Trump to talk to me, he would not be so crude because of boundaries. But if Hillary believed she could get some advantages, what would she do to me? Remember the Coptic filmmaker she fingered to extremists after Benghazi? Remember the gay diplomat she fingered to extremists at Benghazi? Hillary has two jobs to do. Her first job is to win the presidency and make sure the GOP are shut out of the political process. Her second job is to lose the presidential race and to be so awful that Democrats can claim that the rejection was punishment for them. And moving forward, they are a reformed party. Only Trump can cruel both jobs. And if any man comes across a 15-year-old girl after voting for Trump and dares to look them in the eye, tell them to do their homework or play Pokemon Go because the world is safe. Meanwhile, Victoria has been hit by a stronger wind than those which downed South Australia a few weeks ago. Victoria did not fall to pieces because she is not as reliant on windmills, but Victorian Premier Dan Andrews wants Victoria to be as fragile to save the world from weather.